What's up, guys? So, I had an issue on the first recording of Fighting Dark Sun Gwendolyn. And... The cuts... Long story short, the cutscene's already played. Hey, it's playing again. Why is it playing again? First thou offended the Godmother, and now thou see fit to trample upon the tomb of the Great Lord. I am the Dark Sun, Gwyndolin. Let the atonement for thy felonies commence. Alright, well I'll take it then. <laughs> Alright, switch to... Dragon Slayer Great Bow. And... The... Hawk Ring. Can I hit you from here? I don't really want to chase you. Gonna veer to the right a little bit. Come on. Come on, joystick. Quit being a piece of crap. Well, it's a controller, so what are you gonna do? Alright. Hey, I can't hit him from here. I'm gonna switch weapons to. Longbow. Switch arrows to the poison. Does this work just as well? Oh god, it does not go nearly as far. <laughs> it does not carry the same power the Dragon Slayer Great Bow does. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Here you go. And I know this is kind of boring and it's kind of cheesy, but... I don't want to chase this guy. This boss fight is probably my least favorite boss fight out of all of them. It's just so... I don't know. If he can if he can be cheesy by continuously running away and just trying to snipe me to death, then I can be cheesy sniping him to death. That's, that's my logic. Alright, get a little bit closer, make a, a slight movement to the left, and fire. Closer I am, the more damage I do. To a point. I just don't want to get too close. So, the reason why I'm not using Goff's Great Bow, even though I took the time to uh, upgrade Goff's Great Bow is because it requires Goff's great arrows, not Dragon Slayer arrows. So, I can't use it. I mean, I have three of his arrows, which is fine and great. I can use three shots worth. But I can't actually use his bow unless I have his arrows and all I have are dragon slayer arrows which obviously does a good deal of damage like this is not just some weak crap that I'm hitting him with these are full on lances but I can't use Goff's great bow unfortunately it's not right now I might go back and farm up souls uh, back in the painted world to go buy um, a bunch of his great arrows and so I can use Goff's great bow with his great arrows because that extra range and I believe it, it would actually would do more damage. Maybe it would, maybe it wouldn't. Uh, I know I, I can check the difference between Goff's great arrow and the Dragon Slayer arrow actually to see if it's worth it. Um, so yeah, just a couple more shots. Boom. And one more. Goodbye. Oh, heretic. Swathed in dark. 
An eternal curse upon thee. Soul of Gwendolyn, huh? Alright. Well, I'm gonna put this bow down because it's so freaking heavy. <laughs> it, it gives me a fat roll. Iromancy Flame. So, if I compare the Dragon Slayer arrow to Goff's Great Arrow, his arrows actually do more damage. And his bow shoots further. It's just a slight improvement, but that slight improvement could make the difference. Alright, now I can move quickly again. So what's down here? Now that the hall is normal length again, instead of going off into infinity. What's all out here? I know it's the tomb. A tomb. Sunlight Blade. Badass Miracle. The Brass Set from the Fire Keeper, since we killed her. Didn't really give us a choice. And... Nothing. An empty chest. Really? There's not any of that stupid light stuff around here, is there? Like, this is not DLC stuff, so I don't expect there to be, but still. Break that pot for not giving me anything in that chest. But isn't this like the great Lord Gwyn's tomb? Because he sacrificed himself. Uh, to kindle the first flame, I believe this is his tomb. So, kind of sad. There's flowers up there. The window just gives it a very eerie and depressing atmosphere. With that window being the only source of light. How it reflects onto the wall. The moonlight reflects onto the wall. Kind of creepy. Anyways, I uh, got Dark Sun Gwendolyn out of the way. One of the very last of the gods that we, at least we know of. Now, we have to get to Sif. Like I said before, I bought the Crest of Artorius off camera. I had more than enough souls, so I just went ahead and did that. Mentioned that in a previous episode. So, I need to go to the Undead Parish. I believe. Yes, that's more or less the closest one. I go ahead and make that my bonfire. Temporarily, just, you know, insurance in case I fall off the edge. Which does happen. Up. Well, I don't know. You need. Uh, oh, I forgot to use Dark Sun Gwendolyn's soul. I don't need to buy anything from you. What am I doing? I don't know what I was doing. Whatever. Uh, can't reinforce the gauntlets. Don't be seen. Oh yeah, I want to know if you had anything new to say. Well, me. Oh yes, and one other thing about the Darkwood Garden. It is said to house the grave of Sir Artorius, the Abyss Walker. Only of those who ventured into the forest, none has returned. Oh yes. Bye. How much poise do I, or 99 weight potential, not good enough. 
Yeah, not good enough for either. I need like 106 minimum, 108 ideally, so I can put on Havel's armor. But I still need more endurance. Yeah. Alright, well. Um, hi. Chop. Oh, oh, oh. Blooming purple moss clump. Wonderful. Love it. Up. Bye. Oh, oh, oh. Blood red moss clump. Got it before he died. Before he fell. He was already dead. And just because I can. Hi. Whoop, 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 whoop. Attacking with the power of Artorius. Uh oh, I missed. I missed! I'm sorry! Not sorry. Not at all. Blooming purple moss clump. Freaking badass sword, man. I might just use it just because it's fun. Honestly, I, I can... I do plenty of damage. I might just use it because it's fun. <laughs> now I need to make a new... Actually, I need to do... Uh, concept illusory wall, attribute, body part, orientation, geography. There it is, illusory wall. Gonna go ahead and place that down. And make this my bonfire. Uh, get that one more strength, actually. That puts me at 31, so I can use... A different shield if I want. Oh, bottomless box. Inventory management boring stuff. But I gotta get rid of the brass set. I'll hold on to the sunlight maggot. You never know. Uh, but the brass set needs to go. I don't care about that. Whoop. Alright, brass set's gone. I think that's all I had to do. Oh yeah, I fed the rubbish to Framped for what it's worth. One soul. And use the Crest of Autorius. Dancer. Well, the garden, basically. This is a very dangerous place because people will invade. <laughs> if you're human here, it's a problem. Imminent Covenant, indeed. Alright, let's see if I can fish out... There he is. This dude. Come on. What do you got? Whoop, 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 whoop. Uh-oh. Whoa! Invading another world as a dark spirit. Okay. I guess I'm invading someone. <laughs> what? I think I was just like yanked out of my world, disconnected from Master World. Okay, well I guess I'm returning to my world. Maybe he died. He just like, I was invading and then he, he died. Uh-oh. It's only worth one shot, and that's kind of sad. You want to do two-handed wars? We can do two-handed wars. Boom. Get out of here. I am so over-leveled. <laughs> Alright. Magic guy. Magic still hurts, even if I am over-leveled. Bye. Nine, nine, nine! <laughs> this is a great place to farm souls earlier on in the game.
there are a lot of phantoms around here. Did I get? Yep, I got the thief's attention. Thought I might have. What? No! <laughs> I didn't have any stamina. Die! Leave myself wide open, just like Artorius. Oh! I done goofed. I done goofed and took damage. You're just whiffing it, man. You do no damage to me. That's cute. Whoop! Okay, I need to do the one-handed strong attack because this is clearly not getting the job done. Spin! Alright. Clearly I'm just playing around. <laughs> I'm just making sure to not let myself take too much damage, or I will definitely pay for it. Uh, dude, I gotta kill up here. What's up, bandit bro? Spin! Oh, that's, that's why. That is why I have to actually be kind of careful. Because that hurt. Can I get you to attack for me? Thank ya! Oh, it didn't go on! It was just a fraction of a second. That's okay. I, I deserve to die, let's be honest. I'm screwing around so much. I so deserve to die. That's okay. Down here. Place that. Come over here. Say hi to the mage, bro. The other guy I killed before, he's gone. Alright. You're dead. I actually totally forgot about the thief guy last time. He's around here somewhere. But I think if you go up here and then just kind of run around with loud armor and stuff. There he is. He'll show up. I'll take a free shot. Got him. <laughs> he will try to parry you. So be careful. Do be careful. When he's just standing there like that, he's like, he's begging for, to, for you to attack. He's gonna try to parry you. <laughs> oh, that was, that was great. Goodbye. Of course, you would get yours off and I wouldn't. That just makes things more difficult. Tell you what. I'll be nice. I'll give you guys a fiery explosive, explosive death. GG. Um, over here, that you actually, most people just ignore this, um, but you can actually do some more stuff over here, which is why it looks more and more like Ula Seal. Like, it, it's just, it should be right here. Ula Seal should be right here. Yeah, there's an archer. <laughs> That's what I was looking for, the archer. I didn't mean to find this dude. Whoop. Ow. 
Please don't. Block. Bye bye. Alright, now I gotta go kill the archer. As far as I know, these guys don't drop anything. The archer does. But that's it. I'm being summoned. Of course I'm being summoned. Oh, I almost got her. Now I'm a blue phantom. What? Okay, so is that my ally? Is he my enemy? I don't even know. I'm okay. I'm a white spirit. I was summoned as a friend. Okay. A dark spirit invaded. Thank you. There he is. I saw him. What the fuck, dude? <laughs> Bye. Why did you summon me? I would like to know why you summoned me, sir. With your creepy ass club. Hi. Are we doing anything? going anywhere? Like, Sif or what? What? You want me to lead? Like, I don't know what you want. <laughs> Alright, I guess you want me to lead. I can do that. The fact that I've, I'm actually continuously getting summoned here is actually pretty important. I'm level 80 plus and I'm getting summoned. That's impressive. I have to sneeze. Okay, I'm better. Whoop, whoop. <laughs> you what? What? Where are you going? Where are you going? It's the boss area. It's where Sif is. Don't you want to kill Sif? What you doing? Are you exploring? You want to explore? We can explore. Where'd he go? He was just behind me. <laughs> uh, Alright, whatever. Killing mushrooms? Oh, there's an item over here. I need to be careful not to venture too far. Right, I forgot about those guys. For a brief moment... I had a mental lapse and forgot about the giant cats over here. You want the divine ember? By the way, those guys hit like a truck. So, you know, you don't want to get hit by them, dude. Just thought I'd tell you. Hi. Hello. I'm over here. You should come over here with me. Yeah, you should swing your arm so I can spin in the air and duck under your attack. Oh, you whiff it so hard, sir. So hard. Oh, God. <laughs> We're good. All right, he got the ember. If you're really eager, we can go down there and fight those guys. If you're really all that eager, 
sir. Madam person, I don't know. Well, there are items to be had. Is there an item down there? I don't think there's an item directly down there, but there are items in that general area. Hey, message, what do you got? Don't want to kill Sif. Okay, then what do you want to do? Huh. <laughs> I'm here to kill Sif. That's like all I'm here for is to kill Sif. I can practice on the cats, I suppose. Uh, move that out of the way. That pesky mouse. Kitty cat. It. I totally got lucky, kind of. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Kitty. Kitty. Kitty bitty kitty. I don't do much damage to you guys. But you also don't take much to stagger, so that's good. Kitty. Uh oh. <laughs> what? I'll pass, thank you. Bye. I'm here to kill Sif, not to dick around in the forest. Hi. You're a little quick one, aren't you? Come on. I'll take that. I'll look at his message after I kill this archer. Except the archer's gonna be, you know, an archer. Annoying. Die! Why are you so hard to kill? I had you last time, and it just didn't work out this time. Fall. Now I'm stuck. Really? Really? I'm not gonna... Now I'm stuck. I'm stuck. <laughs> oh god, really? Okay, well I got that up in time at least. Ah, I didn't mean to do that. I pressed the wrong button. But I guess it kept me at full health, so that works. Alright, finally, I got you killed. Yeah, don't care. Twin Humanities and Ferris what was the name of that archer. <clears throat> Black bow of Ferris and Ferris' hat. Oh. Such an itchy nose. Eh. I'm not doing PvP. I don't, if I want to do PvP, I'll go do PvP over in Ulysseal, where PvP is a designated spot. I'm not going to do it here. Ah, yes, I almost forgot about this. These guys are stronger than your standard... Whatever they're called. Bushes? They're tougher. So... 
I don't think I'd even kill him in one shot with the Black Knight Sword, actually. If I'm honest. There's an item over here. I'm trying to remember where. It's over there. But this whole place is so similar. To, uh... The Ula Seal. Whoop! Hi! Why did I not kill one of you? One of you should have been dead there. Ah! It didn't. I locked on to him, but it didn't go for him. That's frustrating. Come on. Got him. Well, maybe I would kill him in one shot. I don't know. I don't care all that much. Alright. Heal! Get the eastern set out here. I'm curious. That's the giant bridge, Sens Fortress, Undeadburg, Upper and Lower. But you notice down there. Well, I mean, that's that Starkroot Basin, but. It just seems like Ulysseal is a lot closer. Or maybe that's. You know, that's where we killed Calamite same spot. I mean, slightly different over the ages. A lot more water. No waterfall, I don't think. And then this was all built up after Ulysseal fell. The so Ulysseal would be that way. So what happened to the elevators? We know that the elevators existed, and and we know that uh, they went all the way down to the abyss. But where did they go? I mean, we walked through one of the buildings that had an elevator. And the elevator's not there anymore. It's like it never existed. It's been patched up or something. I don't know. I'll show you what I mean, actually. I can. It's right up here. This building, albeit in a better state, was one of the buildings inside of Ulysseal. And the particular point that should be easy to remember is there was a body up here. He had the, the guardian gauntlets, I believe, up this stairwell that I get stuck on. There used to be a doorway right there. This bridge didn't exist. This bridge crossing this gap wasn't a thing. I don't know. It's 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 mind twisting. Like what happened? Does this actually go up? No, this is on more or less equal footing. Well, no. No, this goes up. This is. Remember a couple episodes back, I was looking up and I said to the back of this one, the one that was higher up. Oh, look, there's an item up there. 
That's what this building is. The, uh, the place where I walked around behind and there was an item. Looking from this building on the other side. This bridge came later. Wary of liar. Like I said, Alvina, the cat we saw earlier. When she was younger, she was in the abyss. And apparently she's friends with Sif. Perhaps Artorius himself. Speculation, but... Is it not so that thou art new? Thou fared well to find me. But cometh thee not for the grave of Sir Artorius? My advice true. Forget this. The legend of Artorius art none but a fabrication. Traversing the dark. <laughs> Tis but a fairy tale. Have thine own respect. Go not yonder knocking for nothing, I say. Sure. Well, indeed, thou art a strange one. Nevertheless, I feel some liking for thee. I'm Alvina of the Dark Root Wood. I command a clan of hunters who track down defiles of the forest graves. What dost thou say? Wilt thou not join us? Oh, yes, I believe we would suit thee well. No. Oh, I see. Tis a pity indeed that this is thine stubborn choice alone. I cannot enforce it upon thee. If thine mind should be altered, forsooth speak to me once more. I find it funny that I'm wielding a sword. Proof of the Abyss, proof of Artorius. This very sword. And yet, Artorius is a legend all fallacy. Why? I actually know the answer to that, and I know why the answer has not been yet spoken. Because I'm a dummy and I forgot some dialogue back in Ulysseal that we need to go revisit. <laughs> stone set. Curious. Guardian versus stone. Yeah. Guardian, stone guardian set is better than the stone set. Which does mean that there was some sort of decline in the quality of the guards. Maybe just these stone guardians are so much older that they really are literally not as strong as they used to be. But yeah, walking through here, wasn't there once an elevator? I could be wrong. I could be misremembering, but there were more buildings, there were elevators, gone now. I think that was his death call. Hi! While the little kids might not be a problem, you guys are like freaking freight trains. And absolutely terrifying. So I'm just going to pick one of you off. With pyromancy and nothing more. Ooh, what'd you drop? Ah, nice. Gold pine resin. Nice, nice, nice. The other one. Got your attention. Come over here. Come over here. Poison yourself. There we go. Slowly but surely you will die. Oh boy. And I got stuck on the chest. That's not good. I believe charcoal pine resin is pretty effective against these guys. I don't recall. I'll come back to you later. You'll end up dying. Let's see. Uh, there is the cat area. Oh, wasn't there an item over here? I know there was one over by the cat area, but wasn't there an item over here too? Hi. Got him. Much easier with two hands. 
really no sense in destroying these mushrooms, honestly. I'm curious, actually. Something just occurred to me. The abyss horribly malformed all of the citizens of, citizens of Ulysseel. My initial hypothesis earlier in the series was that they eventually turned into the little bush people. The ones that drop the, the same blood moss, they make the same sounds. It would make sense that they would be the bush people. But what of the mushrooms? Where did the mushrooms come from? Were they spawned of the abyss? Did they move in? Did they rapidly evolve into semi-sentient beings over a course of centuries? I mean, one hell of an evolution. I mean, evolution doesn't work quite that fast. Definitely not that fast. You know, how did these mushrooms come to be? Why are these mushrooms in Ash Lake? I feel like that's the better question. These mushrooms are all over the place here in... Well, Dark Root Garden. Why are they in Ash Lake? That was lucky. And tree. I feel like there are a lot of unanswered questions here. How much health do you have anyways? Twenty three seventy six. That is exactly how much health these mushrooms have. And an enchanted ember. We don't need more of those giant mushrooms. They're a pain in the butt, and I don't know what your cause is. Why you're here. What's your origin? Bothers me. I need to go back and revisit the lore videos for Dark Souls. About Darkroot Garden, Ulysseel. All of that. Because I honestly don't remember if anyone addressed it. I bet they patched this out, but you used to be able to jump up onto that and kill Sif from up on on that. Um, well, open the door. Crest of Artorius. That is the new grave of Artorius. But where is Sith? Anywhere to be seen? Weakness fire? Is he weak to fire? Curious. Still, Black Knight Sword. <laughs> as fun as the Abyss Sword is, Black Knight Sword is where it's at. Gonna run around here. I can see all the flowers. All the swords. The hornet ring, which is back here. Uh, what does that even do? Boosts critical attacks. So it's... Uh, 
Sierran's dagger. It's Sierran's ring. I believe that's the lady we killed that gave the that had the dark tracers, or the dark tracer and the gold tracer. Ring of steel protection, divine blessing, and I think that's it. All right. That sorrow comes for the next episode, guys. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.